Okay, so it's May 2024. I thought I'd do an update to my Octopus Energy tariff options video that will just walk through in as simple terms possible what the tariff options mean, what they're ideally suited towards, because they have very similar sounding names um, with different requirements. So just as quick as possible, overview of Octopus Energy's tariffs and why you may choose one over another, depending on what hardware you have, whether you have solar, solar and batteries, solar batteries and EV, or just one of those. So let me share my screen. So we're looking at the Octopus Energy homepage. If you're not already a customer, have a look in the description for a referral code where we both get 50 pounds. Um, under the menu option, you'll see tariff options for EVs, for solar households, and some of the legacy uh, tariffs as well that are still quite popular. So if we start first of all with kind of the best value when it comes to overnight charging rate and that is still being delivered by electric vehicle tariffs. Octopus have two main electric vehicle tariffs. The first one is Intelligent Octopus which requires a compatible charger or a compatible car. Um, sometimes um, you'll, you only need one or the other but if you have a Tesla and, and a, uh, a Zappi home charger, you'd probably want to link it to the charger so you could use uh, different vehicles and have Octopus linked to the charger versus the car. Um, I've got multiple Teslas in this household, so I have to link Intelligent to just one of those uh, vehicles right now. Uh, Octopus, at the time of recording this video, don't support multiple Teslas on the same account. So there's this process of creating a sort of um, uh, extra um, account in order to add just one vehicle to it and then you can get around that limitation. But that's, we're going off topic. If you've got an electric vehicle that's compatible or a charger, Intelligent Octopus Go is, the, um, is probably the way to go. It's the cheapest overnight rates. Uh, and everything is done automatically for you. So you just plug your car in and your car or your charger will communicate to Octopus. And depending on your state of charge that you've you've asked your vehicle to be, it will automatically figure out a charging plan. Now with Intelligent Octopus Go, you get a minimum of six hours of cheap rate electricity. And right now recording this at 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour between 11.30 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. However, if your if your car requires more charging than that to say reach a higher state of charge, if you plug it in in the evening, you'll often find the window that's been allocated to you is wider. So it's um, something like our Tesla Model X, which has over a hundred kilowatt hour battery. It's quite a big battery. If it's quite low, and we want to charge it to a high state of charge, we sometimes see the charge window starting at nine ten p.m. much earlier, and often ending later as well so the great thing with that is that your whole house is running at that cheaper rate electricity during the charging window so if you're only topping your vehicle up every day you're guaranteed that 11 30 p.m till 5 30 a.m charging rate at that lower rate but if your vehicle requires more uh, that extended window covers not just the car, but your entire household as well, which is really great. Um, you can utilize those windows to not only charge the car, but charge house batteries, put all of your um, heavy um, loads on, so um, dishwashers, tumble dryers, washing machines. If you can move all of your electrical requirements to those cheaper rate windows, uh, you can really maximize your cheap rate and your ROI of the entire system. So the problem with Intelligent Octopus is it does require a compatible vehicle and charger. For those people that don't have a compatible vehicle or charger, you'd need to probably look at Octopus Go. The key difference between these two is the word Intelligent. Intelligent Octopus Go or just regular Octopus Go. Octopus Go is not intelligent at all. It's a fixed window between 12.30 and 4.30, and you get that uh, four hours of cheap electricity. It's not quite as cheap as intelligent, so at the time of recording this, it's nine and a half pence 
for just regular Octopus Go during the cheap window. And it's 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour for Intelligent Octopus. So it's a couple pence difference and you get that benefit of having a compatible vehicle. Um, I'm not aware of Octopus Go being enforced that you have to have an EV. Although it's designed for EVs and most people use it with EVs, some households that just have batteries, because there's no policing or enforcement, it might also be a good option uh, for switching to an EV tariff, even without an EV, to charge house batteries. Um, they both look the same to an, to an energy company, um, but it all depends on your circumstances and whether uh, your daytime use makes that viable. So if you don't have um, an EV sometimes the daytime use if you've got small batteries or a small solar array sometimes this isn't the best option but the key difference between these two is one is a very large window at a cheap rate overnight and requires integration into your car or charger the other one is four hours every day um, ideally to charge your ev but i do know in the forums that an awful lot of people are using this sort of classic octopus go product uh, without an EV, just to charge batteries. Everyone to their own, power is power. Um, and by shifting loads to those early hour, early hours in the morning, you are also helping our grid be, be greener. So I personally don't have any qualms with that idea. Uh, there's one other EV-specific tariff that's still very new and very um, uh, specific to in terms of the type of vehicle you have to have and this is this vehicle to grid product and that is with a compatible vehicle which I think there's only a few Nissan vehicles and a special charger that's bi-directional your car can charge up on the cheap um, window but during the premium window your car actually powers your house the power flow is reversed and your car acts as a large battery it's a fairly new product and is very restrictive on what vehicles are compatible with it, but I think it's pretty neat. If future vehicles roll out uh, bi-directional charging and discharging, then this may be something that replaces the home battery if uh, you're using your car as a battery. But they're the, the two main options plus that third sort of bonus product if you do have a compatible uh, vehicle to grid uh car on your vehicle on your driveway the next uh, series of tariffs are all around uh, f uh, flexibility so they do everything from a fixed outgoing rate an agile outgoing rate so fixed is a fixed um, a fixed rate so you're receiving in this case 15 pence per kilowatt hour um, when you're combining it with certain other products which I'll talk about in a minute um, Agile is about matching the wholesale prices. So with Agile pricing, you typically get half-hour segments and you will, um, depending on the state of the grid, sometimes you'll be paid a small amount per kilowatt hour that you export and some half-hour segments will be paid a massive premium. So if there's uh, low wind and low solar and high demand, you may see really high uh prices that they'll be paying you per kilowatt that you export very similar to when we had the uh, dfs events where octopus would be paying you a premium sometimes many pounds per kilowatt to help st support the grid while agile isn't normally at that extreme it's that idea that when the grid needs support they'll pay a premium to buy your electricity from you there's an outgoing light product which is designed for that classic Octopus Go tariff, um, and they'll pay you up to eight pence. Uh, there's the uh, Smart Export Guarantee, sometimes called SEG, which has a, a flat rate of 4.1 pence. I think SEG pricing is becoming less popular because of a lot, even the Agile pricing is most of the time higher than SEG. And if you combine that with another product like a, an Octopus Go or an Intelligent Octopus Go, um, you get far higher export rates. So, you know, most people will probably not be using SEG unless you found a SEG provider that um, that uh, offers a higher payout amount. Now, the difference with 
the Smart Export Guarantee SEG is that you can have that, your export, with any provider. So you may be with Octopus for your gas and electric consumption, but you could take your export uh, meter, if you like, to any other company. They all have to accept customers for just SEG. So you could have um, your consumption of electricity through Octopus, and then you could have your export SEG with Eon or Scottish Power or someone like that. So they're not tied. It's not like you have to buy and sell electricity to the same company. You can separate those out, which is in the customer's favor. There's a few additional options as well with a very popular product called Octopus Flux. So with Flux, at a minimum, you need a house battery, but it works really well if you have a house battery and solar. So you can charge up your house batteries uh, with redu a reduced rate electricity overnight. You can generate all that solar during the day, feeding it into the grid. And during a few hours around evening time, when everyone comes home from work and is, is cooking their evening meal, that sort of 5 till 7 p.m. time, they'll pay a premium. That's a really good opportunity to put those inverters into a forced discharge mode and sell and push that power back to the grid when the demand is high they'll pay you a premium so with flux you can create a schedule and uh, maximize your roi for battery and battery solar customers intelligent octopus flux currently is only available to give energy customers and effectively what that's doing is it's automating all of the scheduling it allows octopus to instruct your inverter to export uh, when they need it and to buy power when they've got too much um, when they've got a surplus of electricity so with intelligent flux you're handing that control over to octopus to manage just like with the intelligent ev go um, tariff at the moment intelligent octopus flux is only available for give energy as of may 2024 um, We've had conversations with folks like uh, Fox ESS, who are very likely to introduce compatibility and support for Intelligent Flux with Octopus soon. Um, Octopus are also offering their own solar panel installation type product. In terms of the last page that I think is really interesting is the, um, the smart meters or smart products page. They have a form that allows you to select what type of technologies you have in your house and it will suggest um, the best product for you. So if you have an electric vehicle, uh, solar panels and battery storage for example, um, and you have a compatible EV, then it will recommend Intelligent Octopus. Or you can go back and you can change one of those variables so you don't have uh, you don't have a compatible vehicle, it will probably recommend Octopus Go or Flux. So if you're really not sure, you can use this, uh, this what they call a quick quiz, to try to line you up with a, um, with a product. In addition, there's products like trackers that are tracking the wholesale prices of gas and electricity. There's Agile, which is that half hourly uh, rate that's set by wholesale. Um, in order to understand how all of this works and kind of navigating the best, you can have a look at this uh, this table that says, right, so from the standard product, what, what options are available for you when it comes to your export? So as standard, you, you can get an outgoing at 15 pence for export, all the way down to Agile, where you can, looks like, also still get uh, up to 15 pence trackers, Intel, uh, intelligent Go, 15 pence, but you'll notice that the standard Go product is uh, stuck at the outgoing light, which is 8 pence. Um, if you're on Flux, you can see that it's uh, got its own import and export tariff. Um, and Intelligent Flux is, again, completely variable. So these Flux and Intelligent Flux is completely variable because they're defining the uh, amount. Um, so there's lots of information on the Octopus page, but those that have lots of technologies, including EVs and solar and house batteries, will get the best rates. Um, but you can combine uh, things like the Agile um, 
the agile tariffs with some good practices and a bit of uh, prediction and managing of your system to really exploit great ROIs there as well. A lot of it comes down to the size of your solar, the size of your house batteries, um, your consumption amount. If you've got lar a large system, but your consumption is quite small as a household, you can maximize your available energy for export with something like Flux or Agile. Um, if you've got the, a large house battery and you want to look at something like Economy 7 or one of the classic uh, Octopus Go tariffs for that four hours of cheat rate, they're very possible as well. Uh, but I hope this update has just clarified the difference between Octopus products that contain the word intelligent and those that don't and what they mean by that. So if you see the word intelligent, it means that there's some kind of requirement on your on your hardware. It has to be able to integrate in some way, be it a car, a charger, a heat pump system, um, or even an inverter in the case of Intelligent Flux it has to be on the supported list. So have a dig around and try to figure out your consumption versus what you can generate and what may be the best tariff. And the great thing about Octopus is they don't charge exit fees. So you can jump around between the products. Uh, some products have a calling off period and it takes a few weeks if you want to rejoin them. But there's really no downside to running your system for a few weeks, collecting that data, and then trying to position your habits, your house load, along with one of these great uh, these great smart tariffs. All of these options require a smart meter. So if you have a, a regular meter, uh, you're probably not going to be able to get beyond a, a fixed contract or maybe an economy seven where you're running a dual meter setup. So these really are exclusive for smart meters only. And it's just part of the benefit that Octopus are transitioning us all towards. Any questions, comment below. Thanks.